Hello friends. This lesson specific heat. So the units and its explanation we are going to explain in this class. Specific heat. This specific heat lesson explained by Krishna Gurugvelli SAPS ZPI School Marupaka Srikakulam District. Yours. This is my YouTube channel. Follow me on YouTube channel. Animated by this lesson. Animated by K Venkatramana S E P S J P I School, Lolugu, Srikakulam District. His website is www. physical science four ever. blogspot. in. After completion of this lesson, student will be able to understand the specific heat and its units. Know the specific heat. heat values of different materials understand the internal energy of substance understand why specific heat different for different substances so these are the key points to understand to know after completion of this lesson specific heat definition What's the definition of specific heat? Let me explain. You know, Q equal to m s delta T s equal to Q by m delta T. We derived in the previous class. So, definition: the specific heat of the substance is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of the substance. This is very important. You have to remember. S equal to Q by m delta T. S equal to Q by m delta T. Units. Celsius units. Calorie per degree centigrade. SI unit. Joule per kg Kelvin. Relation between units. One calorie per degree centigrade equal to one kilo calorie per kg Kelvin. That means that equal to four point two into ten power three joule kg Kelvin. Joule kg Kelvin. Let's take one jar with uh, big jar with hot water like eighty uh, uh, degree centigrade water, and two test tubes are fitted with retard stands, and the two test tubes are filled with oil and uh, water, uh, so the uh, that both uh, liquids are at thirty uh, degree centigrade that. Test tubes are fitted with one volt rubber cocks and mercury thermometers. So, uh, what happening? What happening in this uh, uh, activity? In the previous class, we already discussed. But here, so the water in mercury level is rises rapidly in the oil than the water test tube. That means the uh, here the rise in rise in uh, mercury level is more faster than the water so this is we understand in the previous class this is rise in temperature rise in mercury level in the pre next one is falling falling temperature or falling mercury level we can observe what's the this is most uh, this is the just opposite of this first activity i mean reciprocal of the first activity you know this activity in the second activity you know the um, uh, both test tubes they are at 90 degree centigrade 90 degree centigrade but the uh, jar uh, water with uh, big jar is at 20 degree centigrade water then what happening now the uh, mercury levels are falling in both test tubes but which test tube um, it is falling very fastly than the one so let's see so here we are observing so the mercury level is uh, more rapidly falling than in water so in the oil the mercury level is falling down but the water still it is falling slowly it is falling down so this from this activity what we understand what we understand so if the specific heat is high the rate of rising or the rate of falling in temperature is low for the same quantity of substance same quantity of heat is supplied it gives us an idea of degree of reluctance of substance to change its uh, temperature what is reluctance reluctance means reluctance means 
unwilling to do something what is the unwilling to do something if the specific heat is uh, uh, more if the specific heat is more it's rising and falling both are very slowly very slowly takes place that means if the specific heat is high the rate of rising or rate of falling in temperature is low for same quantity of heat is supplied here the in the first activity the rise of mercury temperature is very low very slowly takes place but in the second one the falling of uh, temperature in the water is slowly takes place this is very slowly comes down that means here the water has more specific heat than the oil this indicates this is the reluctance what's the reluctance unwilling to do unwilling to do unwilling to rise or unwilling to fall this is the reluctance of the substance change its temperature so we can understand very clearly uh, from this activity now specific heat value of some substances let's uh, explain what's the specific heat uh, um, of substances you know here some substances we are uh, placing one is lead lead specific heat in cesius system and uh, mk system in cesius system 0.031 and in mk system 130 joule per kg kelvin and in mercury 0.033 and 139 brass 0.092380 zinc 0.093391 copper copper 0.095399 iron 0.115483 uh, glass 0.12504 aluminum 0.21882 kerosene oil 0.502100 ice 0.502100 water 1 1 calorie per gram degree centigrade and 4180 joule per kg kelvin this is the specific heat of water here placed so the sea water sea water is different than ordinary water 0.95 and 3900 these are the specific heats of the different materials like lead mercury brass zinc copper and so on students you can understand what is the material and what's the specific heat among this material which is the most specific more specific heat value water has more specific heat value so this is very clear we can understand and lesser specific heat value lesser specific heat value is 0.31 lead 0.31 or 130 this is the lesser specific value from this table this is very important table to answer the bits in our examinations next um let's why the sub specific heat different for different substances why why the specific heat different for different substances um take the two beakers and uh, uh, fill it with cold water and hot water and place the pinch of uh, um food colors and uh, place in the water what happening what we are observing what we are watching here see in the hot water the pink color is becomes very rapidly than the cold water here the molecules are um, moving very very randomly and fastly than the cold water here it becomes already pink color than the cold water this indicates this uh, indicates the temperature of a body is directly proportional to the average kinetic energy of and energy of particles of the body so the temperature is depends upon temperature absolute temperature is directly proportional to its average kinetic energy already we discussed in the previous class this means if the temperature increases the k of the particle also increases so here the the molecules of the system our body or substance have different forms of energy different forms of energy what are the different forms of energy of molecules in the uh, system or substance or body what one there are four kinds one is linear kinetic energy and another one is rotational kinetic energy vibrational energy and potential energy what is linear kinetic energy linear kinetic energy means the molecules are uh, moving where uh, in straight line paths and randomly they are in straight line paths such particles possesses uh, linear kinetic energy Next 
next one is rotational kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy means here the particles look look here the diagram look here the uh, figure so the um, three particles are they are in rotation while they are rotation they are in the random motion so they are looks like a rotating motion here so that means these particles possesses kinetic energy so some particles vibrational energy that means they are vibrating along with to moving in the substance vibrating the back and forth or to and fro motion to and fro motion of the particles is nothing but vibration some of them particles are vibrating in the substance some of our uh, potential energy that means due to their gaps or heights between them and they should possesses potential energy this means the each and every substance it has uh, different forms of energy total different forms of energy is nothing but internal energy internal energy means the total energy is called the internal energy of this system this internal energy in the form of linear kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy vibrational energy and potential energy okay do you understand so this is the total energy of this system or substance uh, this is very clear in this uh, uh, substance we can understand from this activity so why the specific heat different for different substance this is very important why the oil is more why the oil is lesser specific heat than the water because the um, uh, because the specific heat is uh, more specific heat is more means um, that means they are uh, uh, when we supply heat energy to the system the heat energy gives to it will be shared by shared by molecules among the various forms of energy if you give any if you are giving supply, supply if you are supplying any energy to the system that system in that system the molecules the energy is sharing in different different forms what are the different form their sharing will vary from substance to substance in oil so su su some much of sh sharing in water other different sharing different sharing will be takes place so this rise in temperature is high for a substance if the maximum maximum share of heat energy is utilized for increasing its linear kinetic energy if the if the supplying heat energy is utilizing totally it is utilizing as a linear kinetic energy then the such systems have more specific heat such systems such substances are showing more specific heat that is very important so but what about linear kinetic uh, um, rotational kinetic energy and vibrational energy and potential energy among the four energies but if you supply that energy is utilized as the linear kinetic energy such substances are more um specific heat. this is very clear you should understand the sharing of heat energy of the system also varies with uh, temperature um that is why the specific heat is different for different substances due to this reason different substances they have different specific heats students now the this is the end of this lesson improve your learning so from this uh, s equal to q by m delta t equation we can calculate to problem uh, very easily what's the first problem the amount of heat required to rise the temperature of 100 grams substance through 10 degree centigrade is 1000 calorie what is the specific heat of substance we can calculate very easily so s equal to q by m delta t formula is useful to calculate the specific heat here okay are you are you calculate are you calculating yes you can calculate it next question why is the specific heat different for different substances already now we discussed so the specific heat is different for different substances due to the utilizing energy as a linear kinetic energy or vibrational kinetic energy or potential energy or rotational energy this is depends upon the utilizing energy in the form of linear or rotational or vibrational or um, um, uh, specific um, uh, potential energy this is very important you can write the terms sir very easily from this class so friends visit the website for cce projects notes and lab activities uh, physical science forever dot blogs for dot in thank you friends thank you thank you for watching my video thank you very much